We're going to talk about weight, we're going to talk about handling, wind protection, comfort, vibrations, and styling. Phenomenal, phenomenal job with this fairing. The design of this fairing is amazing. I so, and I know there's a, a lot of people... A lot of people uh, talking about... Look at John in the mirror playing around. Oh, ah, oh, ah, look at him. Look at him. Hey guys, good morning. We are going out for a ride. You guys have been asking me more and more about how does this Slow Rider ST compare to my Electro Glide, the touring model I had before. So that's what this video is all about. I'm going to tell you uh, what I think of this bike compared to Blackbird, my, what was it, a 2020 Electro Glide. This is my new new-ish 2022 Lowrider SD named Grey Ghost. Took it out of the garage. <laughs> Tap performance. Slip-ons. Soon, these two are going to be one. And this guy over here is going to be totally different. Stay tuned for that next month. I have my heated gear on. Let's go meet Mad Max and go for a ride. Look who's photo tape vlogging me. Look. Look at this guy. How's that tour pack? Oh, I love it, man. Yeah. I really do, yeah. Mad Max. Oh. Oh my god, that exhaust, that pipe is something else. I can tell you that next month I'll have something even nastier than that. Trust me when I say that. What? When's the camp Next month. Huh? Next month. Next month? End of March, yeah, pretty much. Uh, end of March. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be in Daytona with me, buddy? Yeah, I am. Huh? 9 to 11. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, guys, these are the topics I'm going to talk about today when I'm comparing the touring model, my street glide or road glide with uh, the soft tail bike my low rider st we're going to talk about weight we're going to talk about handling wind protection comfort vibrations and styling so let's hit the road and we've been waiting we've been waiting to ride quite a few days the weather was bad now it's just a little bit warmer it just it just snowed a little bit So let's talk about the difference between between my Lowrider ST and my Touring model. I'll just call it Touring model because it applies to the Electric Glide, Street Glide, Road Glide, pretty much. Okay, first thing, first and most, I don't know, most significant, all, all the things that are on this list uh, are important. Okay, let's talk about the weight. The weight difference. I am 180 pounds. I'm a relatively smaller, smaller guy. Not big, not, not overweight, not heavy. And uh, I am 5'10". There's, I think, I'm not sure what's the, uh, the, uh, Not sure what the uh, the actual weight difference between the bikes, but the weight difference is significant, and it's actually 
uh, noticeable. Weather being it, you know, while riding it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's rolling, so there's no big uh, difference. But the main difference is actually when you're the main difference is actually when you're handling the bike in the garage and moving it around here and there, pushing it back during parking uh, parking. So that is the main big difference, and it is significant. It's a way lighter bike in in uh, handling, you know, not while riding, because while riding, I don't really feel the weight difference. But what amounts, additionally amounts to uh, the weight difference is, uh, it's more the handling. Now, I, I don't think the handling, the handling, with this smaller chassis, this smaller frame is way, way more nimble. The touring bike is well planted. It's heavy, it's big, it holds the line and uh, moving it around, flicking, flicking it around. There goes John. Revving it up. Flicking the bike around, this bike, the, the soft tail frame, is way, way more quick, nimble. Yeah, definitely, the touring bike is, uh, is great. It's planted, high speeds. It's very, very stable. Uh, just because, obviously, it's, uh, it's heavier, so when going at highway speeds, with, with trucks and cars going around you. The touring bike was uh, way more stable, wasn't affected by the wind, by gusts and stuff like that. And this smaller bike, the Lowrider ST, is uh, more affected by, uh, by other traffic. Now let's talk about wind protection. Wind protection, obviously a bigger bike, a bigger fairing. The touring models, you know, they have better wind protection. But, believe it or not, this bike, the Lowrider ST, hardly did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with this fairing. The design of this fairing is amazing. I don't know how they were able to create such, such a great uh, design that although it's relatively a small fairing, I feel I don't know, it's a, I don't, really can't compare it one to one, but I feel just as, just as uh, protected in terms of the wind, as protected as I was with uh, the touring model. So, and I know there's a, pe a lot of people, a lot of people uh, talking about this uh, vent over here, this vent right underneath uh, the windshield people trying to block it and stuff like that I think actually believe it or not that is intentional intentional and it's for a reason of aerodynamics mainly because if you have no uh, no venting over here this whole cocooned area this whole vacuum area will have so much vacuum in it that wind forces Wind forces uh, would blow your head forward from the vacuum. And you actually do want, you need that. You actually do need that little bit of air coming in. Otherwise, this it's gonna be so much low pressure inside this cocoon area. So all, all you guys that are getting this, these uh, windshield options that are blocking that vent area, I'm not sure that aerodynamically it's smart and I'm sure Harley when they designed this fairing they took it to a wind tunnel so that is wind coverage wind protection now let's talk about one significant uh, aspect that people don't talk about people don't talk about and that is the vibrations the vibrations on a soft tail, to those of you who don't know, uh, 
the mounting of the engine of the Milwaukee 8 on the frame is rigidly mounted through the bolts. Bolts go directly to the frame. So the vibrations of the engine, you actually feel them on the frame. You feel them on your, on your uh, floorboards, on your pegs, as opposed to the touring bike where it is, uh, there's a damper over there and it's, there's like rubber mounting on the top, which dampens a lot of the vibrations coming uh, from the engine to the frame. So if you're going long haul, long rides, that vibration can drive you crazy and it's way more comfortable on a touring model. So that is the vibration. Okay, let's talk about styling. The styling. Uh, why I got this bike is uh, I wanted to be somewhat unique because this is a new model. I loved the styling and my previous bike it was like just one of uh, 10,000 more wherever you go every rally every every ride all you see is touring models street glides road glides you rarely see any nice cool looking Harley and that's one main reason that I also got this bike obviously it's a very subjective you can say hey I like the styling better on a on a street glide or on a road glide but uh, me personally, I love the look. I love the look in this, of this bike. Suspension, guys, suspension. Now when I mean suspension, I mean suspension out of, out of the box when you bought the bike. It would be no surprise if, uh, and you'll probably all agree with me, that suspension of the touring models coming out of, uh, out of the floor is terrible. It's just a joke, I think. And everybody that buys a bike probably changed or will change as soon as possible the suspension, the stock suspension. Now the Lowrider ST is just great. Out of the store, like out of the floor, out of the showroom, this bike is so comfortable to ride. I mean, this whatever they did with uh, the placement of the single spring the single uh, shock in the back it's just great so i think pretty much uh, the bike the slow rider st it's pretty much as much as you can yeah a bike that you just buy and just it's ready to ride as opposed to the touring the touring models that were way 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 uh, more in need for modifications to bring them to, to standards that you feel comfortable riding. So you guys were asking, am I happy? Uh, was it a good decision to switch over to this bike? Well, of course it was because it's a decision that I made. No, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm happy. I'm very happy with the decision. I think this bike fits me. It suits me more as a smaller a smaller rider I think this bike uh, fits me more I like the nimbleness of it I like uh, the look I like the comfort and I was able to uh, to set it up to my to my liking and to my styling John in the mirror playing around. Opa! Opa! Look at him! Look at him! So, guys. Next month, in about a month, we're gonna start the build project, the stage two build project. Seems like we're gonna be going with uh, a 3030 cam. We're gonna go with an exhaust. I'm not gonna tell you which one. You'll be, uh, I don't think you'll be surprised, but you will wanna, definitely wanna stay tuned to see what pipe we're gonna use. I can promise you, 
it's going to sound better than John's Chrome works. I can promise you that. And I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to kick his ass because I'm going to have a stage two on my 117. And we're going to have a few uh, pulls and see who does better. Anyway, we're going to do the work ourselves at Tour Custom Cycles. It's going to be me, Nadal, and Mike from, uh, from Tour Custom Cycles. We're going to have uh, quite a few videos about it. We're going to dyno tune it over there, do all the work. Stay tuned. It's going to be really, really cool. I'll try to do it as descriptive as possible, like I like to do my videos. So, you know, so you guys can use that, the video as a reference if you're going to do the job yourself. Or just, you know, for educational purposes, if you just want to, you know. I know a lot of people love to see, you know, other people work. I, I always say there's three things that you can never get tired work uh, looking at. One is, uh, you can never got, get tired looking at a fire or burning fire. Second thing is the waves breaking on the shore, on the beach. And the third thing you can never get tired looking at is uh, somebody else working. So, so those, uh, so definitely you're going to see us working and it's going to be entertaining and nice. So stay tuned for that. have our uh, fancy coffee over here at quick check that's because there's no real Dunkin Donuts nearby <laughs> there's our coffee as promised guys before I, I say goodbye to you I want to remind you guys that there's uh, at the end of April we're giving out a tour pack any tour pack that you want, any color you want, that's the winner. The winner's gonna be winning that. So go ahead to my website and any item you buy uh, gives you entry entry tickets to that raffle. So the raffle is uh, like two months away. And I can tell you a little secret, there's not, not a lot of people uh, entered it yet. So chances of winning are really high now. So head over to my website, grab yourself some entry tickets and win yourself a beautiful Advent Black tour pack, guys. I don't know, can you see how windy it is? It's getting really windy. It's supposed to be really cold today. Look at the trees over there. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video guys. <laughs> Why are you smiling? You're done with the Why video are you smiling? Are you done? He's Please. pitching up he's pitching up his aerial footage and I had to say goodbye to you because Okay guys, you know what? Let's wait a few more minutes. I'll 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 say goodbye to you later, okay? Doesn't that exhaust sound wicked? It's amazing. It's, it really is. It, it really is. Wow. I can't wait for my camera ready. 
Let's hit the camera. Doggy, hey, all excited. 